Hey everybody. Happy I guess well happy birthday to me. It's June eleventh and um it is my birthday, but I wanted to do a special gift. I wanted to do a love reading. So I've been working on some things, some tangs, because I really want this to be special for all of you. I have created a clarity oil and we're going to, well first let me, I'm going to anoint this candle over here to give us clarity and then we're going to do a love reading, okay? So let me bring up the power and the energy of this oil and clockwise because we want insight information and clarity okay so that one is anointed with clarity so we've got wisdom then let's see what's going on in love in the next week the 12th through the 18th. I also have these three candles and this is a love oil specifically to give us wisdom, light, insight, and clarity. Never done this before. We'll see how this all turns out. <laughs> uh, this might be the science experiment from hell. Who knows? But I don't think so. I'm not. I'm not feeling like that. I'm feeling really feeling. This is right. All right. So we've done the love, we've done clarity, and um, got some sage. Those of you hanging with me, welcome, welcome, welcome. This might be a little bit odd or different or I'm cleaning our space. That's what sage does. It clears any energies that have built up. Clear out our candles energies because their anointed energies will stay. Clear out the cards. I'm clearing some cards behind so if you see the smoke, that's what that is. Alright, and we're gonna put that and sage is a beautiful thing as this is white sage and it burns out when anything not beneficial is released. Ah, yeah, this is a white sage bundle. I need to get another one. So I got left. But there's Palo Santo too and they're all they all do the they, they they clear energies. Then I also have incense. This is the I don't know how you say it, Nag Champa. I love this. I love the smell of it. My favorite is golden sand. But it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. And it just makes me think of love and light and bringing to me the goodness in life. So let me have a moment. I'm going to light our candles and then we'll start the reading. And we'll see what spirit wants to share with us now that we've done all the teens. 
that leg. So I hope you guys are all doing well, having a good day. My birthday has really actually been really awesome. Like nothing crazy like out of the ordinary, just it's just really been a really awesome energetic day. I feel so good. Spirit has taken me on a variety of different um, paths, learning so much, which as a Gemini, <laughs> I'm very much in my mind. I love learning. So I'm tickled and thrilled and um, yeah, it's just really been awesome and amazing. I was able to do a few things for my parents and you know it just it makes me so happy it makes me feel really good all the things so we I have our clarity candle and our love candles okay and I'm gonna turn my fan because I want to watch the candles so our clarity candle, straight up, right off the gate, I think there are some clarity issues. Whomever this reading is for, there might be some clarity challenges. That is a very small, low flame. And yeah, it's wanting to peter out. So let's, let's pull some Oracle cards. We're using the wisdom of the Oracle. The love candles are high and bright. They, they're looking pretty good, but the clarity candle is, it, it's just not. And I'm really wondering if whoever this reading resonates with, Maybe there's just some clarity issues that are blocking the love because the love is there. It's standing tall and the candle flames are tall and bright for you. They're wanting to come through. Love is wanting. It's ready. It's there. It is strong and tall. Let's see what the Oracle, wisdom and the Oracle cards have to say. Spirit guides, higher self, angels, um, love, insights, clarity, please. June twelfth through the eighteenth. Insight, clarity, wisdom. Insight, clarity, and wisdom, please, regarding love. June twelfth through the eighteenth. What do we need to know? What do you want us to know? Please. Breathe. First card to come out, breathe. Hmm. I've got a lot of things coming through my head right now on that one. Next, higher power. Oh, hello. Huh. <laughs> that kind of funny correlation. The higher power has got the pinks of that one. The breathe kind of has like, it's blue, but it's the, the purple of that one. Okay. Let's see. Um, one second, y'all. I don't have a massive workspace, so girl does the best she can with what she got. Alrighty. Now we're going to look at the Spirit of the Animals Oracle for more clarity, guidance, insight. Guides, angels, higher selves, please. What insight, clarity, information do you have for those watching that are looking for understanding regarding love? 
June 12th through June 18th, 2020, please. Insight, clarity, wisdom, insight, understanding. What message do you have? June 12th through the 18th, please. Ladybug, good luck. You are a bright energy. Let go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and con colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. Trying to figure out how can I put these. I'm going to move this over here. All right. And then. Breathe. Let's talk about breathe. I feel like your guides, your angels, your higher self are asking you. Put that right there. there you your your guides and your angels, your higher selves, are asking you to step back, take a moment, as really, really look, understand. What is of value and importance to you, not to anybody else? What matters to you specific? Okay. Because at the end of the day, this whole life is not about anyone else. It is all about you. 100. What do you want? What do you desire? What do you dream? What is um, rewarding, fulfilling? What, what 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 matters to you and when when you stop and you breathe when you focus on your breath meditation yoga exercise whatever you slow down i feel like that's why the clarity candle is not the, the flame should be tall and bright it, it should be hopping up this clarity isn't there yet then and that's why your guides are asking you to make time take time and breathe trust in your higher power your higher power is there your higher power is trying to guide you there your higher power is trying to connect with you and i feel like this is the the overall message with the ladybug your higher power is trying to let you know you are a bright energy you are a benefit you are beautiful you are amazing let worry go be happy here and now breathe sorry y'all feel good about being a loving and colorful you that you know that means just appreciate you for who you are and how you are let go of all of the past the, the past programming, things people have told you, the, the expectations that have put, been put upon you, we all have them. And it's not easy. It isn't easy. But letting go, releasing, allows you to love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, how can you possibly love another fully? You're looking for them to complete you. And that, that is impossible. That's not their job. That's not their role in this life. You know, it, it's your responsibility to complete you. That's what we're here for. Bless the world with color and good luck. If you're not true to you, and if you don't love you 100, and if you don't accept you yourself 100, how in the how how is it even possible for you to bless the world with your color 
with your good luck. You can't. You don't even know what your color is. You don't know what your good luck is. You need to step into you, your own power. Breathe. Trust your higher power. Allow them to bring you to this place. Let's pull some tarot. Let's pull some tarot. I'm called to this deck. My, my favorite. Breathe. Spirit guides, angels, higher self. Could you please give us some clarity on what breathe? What, what information, insight, information? What do we need to know? What would you have us know? What would you have us know regarding breathe? Six of Swords, moving away. When you stop and you make time and you breathe, when you give yourself that gift of that blessing, of that space, to go within, to reflect, to really understand what is important to you. You give yourself the gift of being able to prioritize. What is it that I really want? What can I release and move away from? And what is it that I really want to go towards? You'll never know if you don't make time to stop and breathe. And I feel like that's what your guides, your, your angels, spirit, they're, they're trying to tell you right now. It says it, this is important for you. All right, spirit guides, angels, higher self, this um, lady, but, oh, well, here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten of cups. Wish fulfillment. Absolute emotional fulfillment. When you do step into that power. When you release and embrace. I'm going to start crying. OMG. I don't know who this reading's for. feel like your guides really, really need you to know you deserve 100%. You deserve complete happiness. And I don't think you realize that. I don't think you've ever been told that before. And they're telling you. You, you absolutely, without question, deserve happiness and greatness in your life. You really, truly do. And when you stop and you take time and you reflect and you breathe, whatever that looks like for you, and accept the fact that it, like releasing what doesn't serve you, that's not, that's not, that does not make you a bad person. This is your life. This isn't their lives. They have their lives. You need to live for you. Spirit wants you to know that your guides, your angels, they're, they're just like, this is really being beat in on me. Whoever you are, it's okay. It is absolutely okay to release, to let go, to move on. You're not obligated. The, the, this, like that, that's, that's, uh, programming mentality that this, this is the um, old mindset the old mind frame where we were told well what the hell is your life you're living for everybody else when do you live for you when do you get to live for you when do you get to achieve the happiness that you desperately desire deep within you know who you are guides are telling you you need to quit living for others. It's time to live for you. This is your life. This is your time. Step up, step out, step into your power. Higher power. Let's see. Whew. Sorry. Okay. Guides, angels, higher self. What information, insight, clarity. What message do you have regarding love? 
around this higher power card, please. What information, insight, clarity? What, what would you like to share regarding the higher power? I, I don't know. Okay, guys, the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. I wasn't going to take him, but I was told to take him because they kept flipping. You saw me shuffling. They kept flipping on me. Higher power. There's abundance. There's wealth. There's opportunities that are going to be offered to you. Abundance. So much abundance. Clarity, wisdom, insight, knowledge. It's waiting. It's been gestating. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, forgive me for that. It has been gestating. It's waiting. It's waiting for you to birth it. To birth this up. Oh, Lord. Okay, the analogies I'm getting, I'm getting a lot all at once. This has been inside of you all this time. And you... Whoever this reading is for, you know exactly. This has been gestating. This has been growing within you. Waiting for you to allow it to be birthed. To allow it to materialize. And I, I, I'm going to go back again because I'm being told to. You're blocking it. You've been blocking it all this time. You've been blocking it. And if you want, if you want, oh, 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 if you want this abundance and if you want to birth this new beginning, this new opportunity, your guides are telling you very, very strongly, make time, take time, breathe. Understand what's benefiting you, what's not benefiting you. Release, let go, move towards what it is you actually desire. Because it's there waiting for you. Come on, guys. Like, all these cards are freaking awesome, amazing. Ten of Cups, Empress, Ace of Pentacles. Like, good luck. You know, I mean, it's like, you are the good luck. You are the good fortune. Your guides, your angels, they're telling you, you are amazing. This is the only card asking anything of you. Out of all of these, this is the only card asking. Well, breathe. Breathe is asking, I guess. And maybe higher, higher power is asking you to trust. Higher power is telling, telling you, your higher power is here for you. It's waiting. Asking you just... Release and let go. Move towards what it is that you really want. What you deserve. Love is within you. Love is not outside of you. It is all... We, when you understand and realize... Satisfaction, gratification, fulfillment... Does not come from the outside... No other person can possibly love you the way you love yourself. It's in, they're, they're just, it's not, it's not a, it is not fair to put that expectation on another person. That is just a massive, unrealistic expectation. The, you don't know yourself, you don't like yourself, and you expect someone else to fulfill you. These are what popped out. Forgive. A grudge is poison to your soul. Okay, that's what the clarity candle's coming in. That's why it's not strong. There's there's something that you're gonna be moving away from that your guides are asking you to make time and breathe. Um, I don't know if I can I don't know how I can hold all this. Let's see. Can you see that? 
There's something. There's something that you're being asked to reflect upon to understand the lesson so that you can forgive and move away from because holding a grudge is poison to your soul. It, it is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. That's just like insane. It's unrealistic. So for those of you, whoever this resonates with, whoever this reading is for today, there's something that happened, your guides are asking you, let it go. See it in the bigger picture, rise above it. Look down from a perspective of love and compassion for yourself and the other person so that you can actually forgive so that you can move beyond because so much of goodness is waiting for you. And through the process, an attitude of gratitude. Always be grateful for where you're at, for what you currently have. Yes, ask for more. I mean, there, it's never wrong to ask for more. But be grateful in the moment for what you currently do have as you're going through this process to take you here. Let me see if there's anything else. Any other inspiration, wisdom? These are the little cards, messages I have received. I've been acquiring for like two years from Spirit. And I had them all on post-its all over the <laughs> People are afraid to come into my room because it's like post-it city. But these are messages. And I do find them still valid. They're very relevant and very powerful and impactful. Angels, guides, higher self, is there any other information, insight, clarity that you want to share, please? Love reading, June 12th to June 18th. Insight, clarity, information. Insight, clarity, information. No, oh, no, 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 we can't do all those. Okay. Well, 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 well. You are so much more than you realize. And um, you notice these other cards I decorated. And this is one of the blanks because you are a blank slate. I did not do this intentionally, by the way. It's just how it came out. And after the fact, I realized you are a blank slate and your guides they're trying to tell you you are so much more than you realize there's so much more waiting for you than you ever knew letting go forgiving releasing moving past takes you to this place where you get to be the blank slate where you get to really really create that life man i want to cry again like your guides, your angels are just like whoever you, whoever you are. I want you to know your guides and your angels are overjoyed that you're getting this message. They feel you receiving it. You know, it's crazy, but here we go. They feel you receiving it and they feel that you actually are, you're getting it. They want so bad for you to have this abundance. They want so bad for you to create your life, not live this past that was pre-decorated for you. Let it go. Move on. Oh my goodness. Like seriously, whoever you are, the love of your life is coming towards you. Clarity. Your clarity right now is what's struggling. 
because the love is there. It's waiting. It's strong. It's your clarity. All right. I have got to check off. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. I hope this meant something to someone. I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for those of you um, spending time with me, allowing me the gift and the opportunity to share with you. I really, truly hope that there's benefit and blessings for each and every single one of you. And um, just thank you. And if you think about it, hit the thumbs up, like. Got to do this spiel, okay? Hit the thumbs up and like. And if you aren't already a subscriber, hit subscribe. Um, I'm kind of going through a personal period right now. So um, doing the live readings just... I just don't have the bandwidth, but I will. And uh, I will keep sharing as inspiration hits me. In the meantime, though, I really truly hope this finds you well, healthy, happy, and for whomever needed this, I seriously hope this resonated and made a difference for you. So much love, you guys. Have an awesome day. And, um,. I'll, I'll be back soon. Bye.